it's very young, very vibrant, a lot of fresh thinking, a lot of new ideas. So in terms of what makes it tick, I would definitely have to say it's people. It's like the old saying, if a tree falls in the forest and nobody hears it, did it make a sound? And a, that's what a PR agency does. It makes sure that the stories are reported on behalf of their clients. Because I was a journalist before I came into PR, my parents always knew exactly what I did for a living. And I still don't think now that they know exactly what I do for a living. I hate, I hate that question. Everyone asks me, what do you do for a, a living? And I, I'll spend like five, ten minutes telling them what a PR agency is. And it's just a blank expression, and I'm just get tired of telling people now. And I know it's still something to do with media, and they know that I write things, but it's still quite a difficult concept to explain. I know some of the people here, uh, for years, like one of the girls here said that she had to explain to her gran every time she went round that her gran thought she was a PA. <laughs> What makes a good PR agency is definitely its people. City Press has got that bang on the money in terms of the people that work here. From the old timers, Martin, <laughs> Paul and Charles, not that old, but in comparison to some of those young guns, I think they've got it right in terms of the people that walk through the door every morning and the people that work together in their teams with their clients. I think people that come into our offices and start and, and work with us and get to know our business, buy into us as people. I think that they, when they work with us, they realise how committed we are. We have a great mix of, of characters, of, you know, quite funny people. There were two snowmen stood in a field, and one turns to the other and says, can you smell carrots? There you are. And that is my favourite joke. So there you are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. People that you want to spend time with or have a beer with or, you know, that you want in a meeting to, you know, to help lighten the situation of some of the things that we do. I think most organisations talk about what they do and what they believe in, um, but City Press actually live it. own the business, work in the business um, and their passion comes across and pretty much infectious. We're fortunate that we all sit in the same room, we all hear each other's conversations, we're very open about the way the business is heading uh, and the development of opportunities that presents for people. Um, so yeah, it's very much a, a sort of flat structure where people can you know, talk to Charles openly, whatever level they may be at and uh, they usually have a very good understanding of where the business is heading. Uh, we believe in treating people with respect. We are very hard working. And really the business has got to a stage now where people are kind of self-motivated. Um, I think people generally get up in the morning and are very keen to come to work and do the best possible job they can for their clients. It's that satisfaction, you know, you, all we do, you know, we, just, we exist to please our clients and, and to, do, to do what they want in, a, you know, in, a, in, a, in its rawest sense. And I think when you do it and you get that feedback, it's a good feeling. I think that's why you do it, really. It sounds really <laughs> you do it for people's praise, but you know, ultimately, that's, I think that's, that's, that's why you do it, yeah. 
I think sometimes you walk into somewhere and you instantly get a feel of what kind of place the agency is. I think at City Press there's a very genuine feeling of people working together and people not wanting to always take the limelight for themselves. When you're working with someone um, who's, you know, someone within the team who's doing something for the first time they've ever done it and you work with them, they get their head around it, they do it themselves and they get the full credit for it from the client and from the business. And that for me just means that you've done something like that day, you know what I mean? You've kind of you've helped develop a skill set within someone um, that enables you to go on and solve another problem, you know, tackle another challenge that you've got really. You know, we are a people business, you know, we're not a manufacturing business, we don't make product, our product is, is our people really. Uh, and when you're a consultancy selling time from people, you know, really what you've got to sell is, is relationships and that's pretty big in our business. Um, yes, of course, you've got to deliver the results, you've got to deliver the returns, but also You've got to do that within the framework of a good relationship, a professional relationship, and a healthy relationship. So I guess you know we, we sell ourselves on, on our ability to generate long, enduring, successful relationships with clients, really. And all of the things that go with that, you know, from honesty and transparency and good old-fashioned hard work, really. I think the biggest success of the agency is being around for 50 years. Um, the credit for, for that is not me, uh, it's not the founder of the business, my dad, I think it's the people that work within the business. been lucky to attract some of the best talent uh, that stayed with the business for a long period of time and they are the reason why the business is successful today and will be successful for the next 50 years.